have Miss Rhonda Wilkins and also have a board member, Dora. So tell me what you guys thought about the Obama effect. I actually love the movie. It was funny, very charismatic with um, Cat Williams. I love his character. I also love Mr. Sutton's character as well. He was very good. You got to find that luster. In 2008, it was a luster of wanting to get out there and vote and be proud of something. This time, we got to find what's that niche. What, what are we going to do to get people um, up in arms about going out to vote again. So, yeah, excited about going out to vote again. Now, I want to ask you, Dora, what did you take away from the movie? Honestly, um, Mr. Dutton did a fabulous job. It's just about, again, making an impact, sending the message and making it a movement. People were excited to see President Obama run, and they need to get that same excitement going again. And I think it's appealing no matter what race, creed, color, age, group, or gender. It's important for all to watch this film and just take your message away from it. Obviously, we did get some comical relief within the film, but there's an underlying message, you know, and get out there, vote. If you cannot vote, take someone to the voting uh, polls and vote. Whatever it is that you believe that you need to be voting for. Why do you support um, the PBIF, the Peachtree Village International Film Festival? That is a mouthful. Thank you, thank you. Honestly speaking, this is a, a platform, an independent platform for filmmakers, directors, uh, aspiring uh, producers, and scriptwriters. We really want to lay a foundation um, for all and basically give them an opportunity that we're not necessarily have here in Atlanta. And with the tax incentives going on and what Mayor Reed is doing here in the city, it's very important that we come out here and portray Atlanta the way it needs to be done. Hey, Miss Gibbs, the Jeffersons. Yes. Can you say a little bit about Sherman Bensley and what he means to kind of America? I love Sherman. And Sherman's a very generous actor. If Sherman didn't set me up, I couldn't hit him. And he set me up happily. <laughs> you guys know the show would be as groundbreaking. And what was the response? Because that was in the 70s. You know, he was saying things that were really, today we're in this political correct world. Do you think that kind of show? No, we didn't think anything except we had a job. We didn't think anything <laughs> about where it was from. We were hoping. But um, the show has never stopped running. Because it reflects people. It reflects what's going on in the world. And people identify. I mean, there was someone on that show for every facet of the community. You know, we have, and uh, Ned Wordman, who played Ralph the Doorman, and I are very close. And we try to have dinner at least once a year. And your iconic role was a maid. What were your thoughts on the movie that helped? I thought it was a very good film, and I love it. What's her name, Spencer? Octavia yeah, Spencer. Yeah. I loved her role. She was so sassy. Um, that sounds familiar. It reflected a time, and that time was that time. And they told the truth about that time as much as they could. I'm sure it was <coughs> for some people say it wasn't like that for them. But you know, they reflected a, um, a segment of what was happening at that time. And that's all you could really, we may not like it, but I thought it was very good. And I can say that that also is going to bring you to just the casting. Lenny Kravitz and Mom Rocks, whoever had a husband and his wife. Right. Probably the first interracial couple on television. Mm -hmm. And nobody complains that you would have thought of trying to get two thoughts and it just gets blown. You know, right. so to see that, Norman Lear wanted them to actually kiss. Don't pretend I want you to kiss. And they did. Mm -hmm. They acted like a real couple. As a matter of fact, Roxy would always say that he was a black woman's bird because she had to take him home. <laughs> she picked him up and take him home. <laughs> So we all really loved each other. I loved Franklin. Franklin was very funny. And Franklin was married to an interracial. His wife was Spanish. So they both were in an interracial marriage. And Ned is in an interracial. And Ned, uh, the doorman, he's married to an African woman wow. from Nigeria, Skyney, wow. who is a professor. Were they married during the show? They got married during the show. <laughs> he would come every day and he said, I begged Skyney for six years to marry me. She came one day and said, she said yes. <laughs> they got married and they travel all over the world because this woman is so brilliant. She writes these dissertations and they, they have them in Russia, they have them in the Netherlands, they go all over the world. They send them postcards from everywhere. For me it's a good it's a good tool for casting. The idea of the internet is amazing. I mean there's a time when people just sat in their office and the way that the pictures and resumes come, now they actually do it on the net. Right. Cashing doctors can sit in their office and get the pictures and resumes online. So 
you don't have to leave and you see that face if you want, then you call that person in. So it's no paper, anything anymore. So everything's kind of tied to that. But the idea of YouTube and all that, it's a good way to just get 10,000 hits or a million hits or whatever that thing is. Have something unique or have something not unique, at least online. Please stay on message. Don't put like bikini pictures of you on vacation, drinking or anything. You want to, if you're an actress and you're a serious actress, just stay true to that. Wake up every morning, go in the mirror and say, I am beautiful, I am talented, I am going to work. Oh, okay. Love what you do and do it. Do it, get in workshops, get in plays, be what you want to be. Be it. And just like acting, you have to be it, not try to do it, but be it. And my favorite thing you said, Marla, was, um, why not me? <laughs> it's true, why not me? People want to say, there's no money out there, somebody got some money. <laughs> <laughs> and I want it. <laughs>